Hi, in this video, I'm looking at evaluating the determinant of this matrix C here and determine if it is singular or non-singular. So what we mean first by the singular or non-singular, if it's singular, then that means that the determinant equals zero. If it doesn't equal zero, then it's non-singular. So basically, singular means the determinant is zero. Non-singular means the determinant is not zero. And basically, this means that we can find the inverse of the matrix. And this one says that we can not find the inverse of the matrix. So now that we've worked out through that, let's have a look now at how we calculate the determinant of a matrix. So let's just say I have matrix A, which has the elements A, B, C, and D. The way we calculate the determinant of matrix A, which is written either like that, or like this, or sometimes even as vertical bars around the matrix elements itself. What we do is we look at the two diagonals. We have the leading diagonal and we have the other diagonal. And this is only if we have a two by two matrix. There is other techniques for bigger matrices, but for two by two matrix, we can look at the diagonals. And the determinant is calculated as the product of the leading diagonal minus the product of the other diagonal. And if I used my letters properly, it would be AD minus CB or BC. Sometimes it'll be written BC for alphabetical order. But basically, it's the two numbers on the leading diagonal going from left down to right, minus the two numbers on the other diagonal going from left up to right. But mainly, we care more about the leading diagonal as a name for things. It becomes very common for us. So that's the formula that we use, or we can just think about the difference between the two products. So now if we go and work out our determinant of C, we can see that we're going to want to do our leading diagonal is 2 times 5. So we're going to do 2 times by 5. And then we're going to minus off the product of the other diagonal, 1 and negative 3. So 1 times by negative 3. So if we go and work these out, 2 times 5 is 10. And then we're going to minus off 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So that means that our determinant of C is 10 take negative 3, which is the same as 10 plus 3, so it's 13. So now we have the determinant, it's 13. So we can go up to our singular or non-singular test. Our determinant is not 0, so therefore C is non singular, which means that we can inverse our matrix. And that's it. So to calculate the determinant of a matrix, we do leading diagonal product minus the other diagonal product. And then if our answer is zero, we have a singular matrix. If it is not zero, we have a non-singular matrix.